Manhattan, on 1st and 2nd Avenues, on Broadway, 8th and 9th Avenue, the city has approved this building or plan for more than 30 miles of greatly improved pedestrian friendly redesigned avenues that stretch from all the way downtown to all the way up to 125th Street and beyond. And they're really great. So, but if I'd like you to compare this citywide, Manhattan-wide success story to the measly improvements we have here on the Upper West Side. You're looking skeptical. No, I'm, 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 I'm We have one mile. I, I know Gal, I'm thinking Gal's gonna wanna step up here. We have one mile between 96th Street and 77th Street on Columbus Avenue, um, redesigned avenue. And compare that to the 30 miles built under construction or approved in all of Manhattan. For walkers, people with strollers, those in wheelchairs and cyclists, redesigned streetscapes and avenues are just a gigantic win. And this is really a big deal, because citywide, more people are killed or injured as a result of street crashes with cars and by firearms. So in a recent period, right here on the Upper West Side, eight people were killed by car crashes, nearly 800 injured. So just think about that for a minute. If we had eight people die in a restaurant for eating food here, it would be declared a public health disaster. None of us would stand for this. And yet all of these 808 injured and deaths happened and all could have been prevented. So as I said, I've lived on the Upper West Side my entire life and for the past 10 years, I've worked with many groups and testified before our community board about the needs for safety improvements on our avenue. And yet, Mr. Borough President, the Transportation Committee of our community board, a community board that operates under administrative supervision of your office, does not have as a stated purpose that its number one priority is to protect and improve safety and quality of life for our most vulnerable street users the very ones who are needlessly injured or killed, and that means walkers, those in strollers or wheelchairs, and cyclists. Okay, uh, I'd just like to say, you've been a champion of safer streets, and when you run for mayor, you can proudly point to your support of the 30 miles of wonderfully improved avenues. It's a great thing, but what can you do to help us here at the community board level and at all other levels to improve the dismal level, the dismal record in our neighborhood right here to convert avenues from being nasty highways to tree-lined flower streets that we can create safely, cross, cycle, shop on, and enjoy. Thank you. All right. Let's go to Mark Villa, Chair of Community Board 7. So yes, thank you. Good evening. I'm Mark Diller, Community Chair of Community Board 7. We've had a lot of discussions around this, and I think the first thing we, we need to do is to refocus the question, because the question should not be about the Transportation Committee of Community Board 7. The buck stops with me, So, and that's why I've been meeting with your group and, and many others. The, um, the, the uh, I was thinking if you knows why you're speaking, so forgive me. Because um, I want to make sure I, uh, these are absolutely important issues, and the borough president gives us fantastic talent to work with, and I'm using my authority to make sure that we get as many of those voices onto our transportation committee as we can. But that doesn't mean that we're all going to agree. And we um, engaged, my predecessor started a process by which we were espousing our core values and our working principles with respect to a number of things that affect our neighborhood. One of them is transportation and the use of our streets. Um, the, the debate on that went on for months, and I'm not really sure they're finished because they're constantly tweaking what they've decided and what they've discussed. They may be taking a hiatus on it. So if you take issue with the where on the priority list, um, the board um, has placed a particular issue like, like street safety, I think that it's fair to say that everything on that list has to do with street safety. I think it's also fair to say that there are enormous numbers of views about priorities. Um, as the chair of the board, I can tell you that for a segment of our population, and I've just been treated to uh, a real short lesson in this, parking 
is a very serious issue, and every single one of the initiatives that you have presented to me has parking implications, and something as simple as trying to facilitate the ending of double parking on West End Avenue brought out troops who were very upset about the loss of even a couple. I'll give you a better example. The Montessori School on 85th Street, I'm sorry, Mr. Burr President. The Montessori School on 85th Street had problems with fifth graders and smaller walking across West End Avenue trying to see the cars that were coming at them. My board approved, uh, with the help of a very articulate fifth grader, a, uh, a proposal to daylight or open up some parking spaces so that the cars can see the kids and the kids can see the cars. And yet there was strong community opposition to the loss of the parking. These are very complicated issues that require the balancing of a lot of different voices. That, that balancing is my responsibility. I do not intend to shirk from it. The board is pursuing these discussions about exactly how to, to do that. And as I've spoken to you privately about, I want us to be more proactive about a total vision. I think a lot of the elements of your vision are gonna be the elements of our vision, but I don't know if there's a perfect congruence there. So we are in the process of doing that. I hear you that we're not doing as fast as you'd like us to, but we'll keep going. Gail Brewer, thank you, Mark. Of course, Peter, thank you for all your work helping uh, LaGuardia students go to college. It's a huge, huge effort, and I appreciate it. He's on the alumni board, and he does a great job. Um, I would say, as you know, I'm very supportive of the bike lanes. I'm very direct. However, we need to make sure that the bikes pay attention to the rules. And I think that should be our first stop. And you should know that we're working with the community board and the borough president and others and DOT to do a massive campaign with all the stores to go door to door to say, follow the law on the bicycles. And I think once we really, really work at that and we get them to stop at red lights and have lights, then we can talk about more bike lanes concurrently. But we absolutely have to slow them down. Thank you. I totally agree. I'm in, I'm, I, I'm a cyclist.